If there's two things I've learned in life, it's that there's a first for everything and that trust is so hard to earn yet so easily lost. And then we both have to experience those things the hard way. Well, this Christmas came early for me and my oh my, I've been on Santa's naughty list this year. And he has sent me a bad gift, not in the form of coal, but in the form of a hacker. A week ago, I was unfortunately tricked into being hacked. Someone on Discord who was mutual friends with someone I trusted messaged me and he said he was making a game. He sent me a YouTube link, I checked out the gameplay, it looked good so far. It seemed legit and that's when I should have read the signs. When I was checking out the comments of the video, they were all positive, saying that the game has great potential. Oh, but one thing I didn't pay much attention to was a dislike count. Another thing that I should have paid better attention to was when I was downloading the file. Windows Defender kept telling me that it was a virus, but the person in question who was hacking me said that, that he was trying to license the game, which was understandable at the time. But once it finally happened, I have no doubt been blaming myself over and over for what I've done. I lost my Discord account, my data, pretty much everything. Almost everything important ever since then, and I've been doing everything I can to improve my security, changing my passwords, getting a VPN, and stuff like that. <clears throat> I didn't lose much else beyond that, but as far as I know, the hacker has my account and is trying to trick people with the same bullshit they used on me, and who knows what they're using my data for. I've done my best to secure myself, but even to this day, I feel like I've been living in fear of what happened, wondering what's going to happen next, and Discord has done nothing to help. I've sent them two tickets, and of course, I only get responses from bots saying shit like, we'll get to this problem as soon as possible, or something along those lines. <clears throat> now, I get it. Discord is a huge company with millions and millions of users, but one would think that after about two or three days, is Someone would have responded to me at some point, an actual person that can help, but nope. It's starting to feel like that YouTube and Discord have something in common, as they're just letting this happen to me while they're doing who knows what. It also bugs me that's the internet in general lately. It feels like it's been filled with nothing more than bots and scammers, and I'm not, not just talking about Discord, but Twitter too. I'm lucky that I'm able to find some people who, who are kind and genuine and then care about me, so thank you for all that. I'm sure some a couple of people will comment about that. It's at this point where I'm going to just have to cut my losses and move on from that Discord account. If it's not going to be fixed anytime soon, there's nothing I can do. I've tried everything in terms of trying to reset my password and recover my account, but nothing works. <clears throat> Definitely learned my lesson from my first hacking scenario. I couldn't help myself at the time. I'm a sucker for trying on new games and supporting other people, and I let those thoughts get the best of me at the time. But I know better now not to trust any links like that, and I'll only download games from trusted sources such as Steam and Epic Games, and I advise all of you to do the same too. Don't make the same mistake as me. Don't be the dumbass that I was and stay safe out there in the war zone that is the World Wide Web. And if you can help from now, I, I kind of am reading from a script because I'm better at writing my thoughts down than uh, actually trying to express them from my mind because it just takes a few seconds to process, so it's like, Gonna struggle with that, and this recording is gonna be so much longer. But I got my message across about what's happened, what's been going on since my absence, and and I hope my advice and my experience has been helpful. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.